You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner, Dr. Stephen Cabral, shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Thank you so much for joining me here today on this Weight Loss and Wellness Wednesday. It's good to have you, and I'm excited to get into today's topic. I've gotten so many requests for more information on how to heal your thyroid or boost your metabolism or increase your energy or how to get that hair to basically stop thinning, not to fall out. So what I want to do today is share with you, really from clinical experience, Yes, what I've learned through the textbooks and through schooling and then also through working with other practitioners, but really through just working with so many people, hundreds of people, if not well over a thousand now, who've either had low thyroid or metabolic-based issues or Hashimoto's and really helping them to rebalance the body, get well, lose the weight, really transform their body overall in general. And of course, along with that comes from healing the mind, you know, really getting that vitality, that zest back. And what I want to do is make this really straightforward. So it's going to be called the done for you low thyroid protocol. And I want to take you through, so this is going to be good for health practitioners as well. Good to take you through exactly what I do in my practice to show people essentially how to repair their thyroid. Because a lot of people say, oh, well, my mother, my grandmother, like everyone had low thyroid. And so I just have low thyroid too. And you can think that way. And sure, that's fine. And I agree with you that in your genetics, in your genetics, there is that code that says, okay, If lifestyle, if inflammation, if toxicity, if, you know, all these imbalances come to fruition, yes, you too will have a low thyroid. However, you probably didn't have a low thyroid when you were six years old, eight years old, 10 years old. So what we need to do right now is we need to get you back a healthier body. When we get you back a healthier body, a more balanced body, well, then that little key that turned on the genetic code for you to flip on the low thyroid or the Hashimoto's or whatever it may be, the low metabolism, will be turned off. And we can do that. And we see that every day in my practice. Again, I didn't invent this. It's called epigenetics. It means that your lifestyle, everything that goes along with it, the environment you're in, the stress, the food, all of those things, the toxicity, it either turns on your genes in a positive way or it turns them on in a negative way. That's essentially the bottom line. So what I look to do is, yes, I do people's genetic testing. I can link that up if you'd like in the show notes today. But really what I do is I try to figure out what's going on with their body right now. Okay, what's going on right now? And then I figure out what their toxicities are and I figure out and then I remove those. I help them remove those toxicities, okay? Whether they're man-made or they're endogenous, which means produced in our own body. Or if they have deficiencies. And a lot of time there are massive deficiencies. Why are there massive deficiencies? Well, we live in a more stressful time than we ever have. So our body is constantly be depleted of things that our body needs in order to continue to rejuvenate and repair itself. That's just one reason. The other is people's digestive systems get weak. They get weak because of alcohol or taking Advil or antibiotics or anything that can mess with our gut flora. And again, there are so many reasons I don't want to get into that today. I've done previous shows on that. Before we get started in today's show, just for a little context, if you really want to learn about your thyroid, what I'm talking about today in terms of what are your deficiencies, I want you to check out episode 600, all right? stephencabral.com forward slash 600. If you go to that, you're going to find out the two missing minerals that most people are missing that their thyroid needs to get boosted, that it needs to work more efficiently. Okay, trust me, these aren't things that would be like nice to have, they're must-haves. Meaning that, I'll just tell you, you need to really listen to that show for the entire context. But for example, for example, one of those missing minerals would be selenium. If your body does not have enough selenium, and again, I do thousands of hair tissue mineral analysis, and most people are coming back low. If you don't have enough selenium, what's going to happen is this. Your body's not going to be able to convert T4, which is not that active, okay? It works as a thyroid hormone, but not that active, to T3. So if you don't have selenium, you're not going to be able to fully manufacture, or I should say fully convert T4 to T3 inside the cell. Well, why does that matter? Well, a lot of people right now, they're still on thyroid medication, but it's not working well enough. 
And that's because they're on T4. They're on T4-based thyroid medication. The body's not able to convert it inside the cell, okay? So they're still not getting that boost that they need. Really, really important. That's why this is really scientific. I mean, this is orthomolecular medicine at its best in functional medicine lab testing, which we'll talk about in a moment. And then the four toxins, episode 593. So go to stevencabral.com forward slash 593. Check out that show. I really believe that you should really understand your body. By understanding your body, you'll know then what action to take and how it's going to lead to results. That's why there's no guesswork in my practice. I don't say, oh, well, let's just try this out. (laughs) Let's just throw some stuff against the wall and see if it sticks. No, we don't do that. We base it on exactly where you're at right now. And then we base it on the science that shows us how to get well. Now you could say, well, why isn't my MD doing this? Why isn't my PCP doing this? Why aren't my specialists doing this? And it's simply because they haven't been taught it. They really haven't. They're taught about a disease pathology that when your thyroid, what's a good enough? Let's give it a really scientific term. When your thyroid gets out of whack, what they do is they say, okay, well, you're just low on hormone. So what do we do if you're low on hormone? We just give you more hormone. That's it. That is how conventional medicine works. When every problem looks no, no, no. This is how you saw I'm poor at analogies, but this is the best way to say it. When all you have is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail, right? So if all you have are pharmaceutical drugs, all you can do is use pharmaceutical drugs. But in naturopathic medicine, I have lifestyle, I have sleep, I have regulating uh, hormones and blood sugar and inflammation. I have nutritional supplements, I have exercise, I have working on, on the mind, you know, the mindset in general. And then if needed, I can always say, you know what, then you can say you might give someone some uh, conventional medicine based recommendations. And that's when I would say, hey, check with your PCP or whatever it might be. Because again, my job is one thing, and that's to help you heal your body and mind. That's it. Do I care if I'm the one to do that? No. Do I care if your PCP is able to do it? Not, no problem with me. So if I'm able to get you to get blood work covered by a PCP or any of those things, perfect. I'm happy to do that because that's not my goal. You know, my, my goal in what I do I have to have the end goal in mind, the end mindset. The end mindset is I need to help this person heal. Yes, from mind, from body, their overall life, because right now they're stuck. How do I get them unstuck? That's always my question. How do I get this person unstuck? And I want to do that as fast and safe as possible. But I also want to make sure that it leads to long-term results. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So check out those two shows. I'll link them up today. So 593 was the four toxins. 600 was the two missing minerals for your thyroid. And then actually, I did a follow-up on 628, how a slow thyroid makes you overweight and unhappy. And that was a very popular show, so I want to make sure that you check that one out as well. All right, so let's get right into it. So a done-for-you thyroid program. What do I do? You know, what do I do for people to help them get well and really rebalance the thyroid? I do two things. So I'm going to give you the actual protocol, but also before I do that, I typically always test, right? You know that I lab test because I don't like to guess, I like to test. This is going to be completely up to you, but you have two options, all right? When you are looking at your thyroid, you can do something like the complete thyroid test. I'm going to link everything up. So simply go to this. Go to stephencabral.com forward slash 719. Don't even worry about all the podcasts, whether it's 593, 600, 628. I'll put them all in there today. So just go to stephencabral.com forward slash 719. Okay, so let's get right into it. The first test that you could run scientifically, meaning like, Hey, I want to prove to myself why my metabolism slow. Why my hair thinning? Why my skin so dry? Why my circulation so poor? Why? Why all this sluggishness? So, all right, let's check it out. If we run the complete thyroid testing, we're looking at thyroglobulin. Okay, we're looking at T4. We're looking at free T4, which is even more important than T4. No one ever tells you that. You're looking at free T3. Again, so important. Look at free. What's able to be used? Free means able to be used. Then we're looking at TSH. Again, TSH. If that's usually all your PCP will run. And that's it. They just, they just run that. Now, again, it's not their fault. It's what they've been taught. It's what the American medical system teaches. And it's also what they're willing to try to get health insurance to cover. So we don't play the health insurance game. Again, yes, there's a cost to lab testing. But of course, there's a cost to everything in life. What's your health worth to you? What's another like three hours of energy a day worth to you? How much more productive would you be? What if you slept better at night? What if you weren't you know upset about not being able to lose weight? Like all of those things like that to me is like, I know like obviously there's a cost to everything, but I don't know. To me, like it's just so much more important to get everything I can out of life. And I do. I cut back in other areas of my life to be able to afford the things that I want. But again, that's me and I'm gonna try to put push me on you. But I'm just letting you know that's that's where I'm coming from mindset wise. So TSH, even if you've only had that run, trust me, TSH is optimal between 0.5 and two, maybe up to 2.5. So on a regular blood work, it'll say, okay, TSH is fine up to five. It's not. 
It's not. A three is not okay. That means you're on your way down in terms of thyroid-based metabolism. It means something's wrong. Thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, is being bumped up. Why is your brain, your hypothalamus pituitary thyroid axis saying, hey, we need to produce more TSH? Well, I'll tell you why. The reason is, is because you're not most likely converting enough active T3 inside the cell. That's why. So then, of course, we test for that on this lab test. Now, it's called a complete thyroid package because we're also testing iodine. Why are we testing iodine? Well, because we need it. We need iodine to make thyroid. Why wouldn't we have enough iodine? Iodine's used to detoxify. So if you're drinking tap water, well, you need to detox the fluoride. If you're showering without a filter, well, you have that chlorine. Like Now, again, this is not taught in medical school. It's just not. It's even not taught in naturopathy school. So trust me, I have a lot of naturopathic doctors listening to this show. You need to go beyond your textbook education. You have to. You have to learn about these toxicity. Toxicity, yes, I took toxicology in grad school as well. And toxicology is very, very important to study. I have a nice 800-page textbook staring me in the face right now. But here's the deal. It doesn't really teach you too much about how all the 77,000 plus man-made chemicals in the environment are affecting the organs in our body. Not just the liver, not just the kidneys, but the thyroid as well. Really, really important to look at. Now, of course, it's being studied more because of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, but what about the thyroid? Nobody ever talks about that. How chlorine, fluoride, and other harmful toxins affect it. Well, what are some of those other toxins? Well, bromines, arsenic, cadmium, mercury. That is all tested for on this complete thyroid testing package. That's why it's so phenomenal. And remember I told you your thyroid needs a couple different nutrients? It needs them. Not would like to have them, but it needs them. Well, it tests selenium and it tests iodine right there. This lab test shows you what are your levels? Are you getting enough? Could they use a boost? Meaning like if they're in the lower percentage, like lower normal, could you use a boost? Absolutely. Absolutely. Who wouldn't need a little bit of a boost in order to give them more energy, right? In order to give them a little bit more thyroid. Plus selenium is so great for detoxification, for anti-cancer support. So great. So this lab tests for all of those amazing things. All right. So that lab test is fantastic, but there's another lab test and you have to decide which one is best for you. What's the other lab test? Well, the other lab test is called a thyroid plus adrenal plus hormone test. Okay. So let's check this one out. Why do I love this test and and oftentimes recommend it even more so than the lab test that I just recommended? And that's because this, that a lot of times, if you have Hashimoto's, run this first one, run the complete thyroid. Okay. But if you just have low thyroid, low thyroid, sluggishness, the hair thinning, the brain fog, the dry skin, the poor circulation. All right, run, run the thyroid plus adrenal plus hormone test, also known as the weight loss test, but it's not just for that. Why would I recommend that? Here's why. It tests your cortisol output. It looks at how stressed your body is from production of cortisol or how much energy it's outputting. This is now taught actually in uh, naturopathic school, which is great. It was not taught in naturopathic school back in the day when I was there, but it shows you that when your body's producing more stress hormones, all right, norepinephrine as well as glucocorticoids, you don't need to know what that means. But when your body's producing more stress hormones because of gut-based issues or because of life stress or viruses, anything, anything, heavy metals, what happens is this. Your body actually starts to slow thyroid. And it doesn't mess up. It's doing that on purpose. It slows your thyroid during stress to keep you alive longer, all right? It means that you're gonna need to process less energy you're going to burn less calories. And that's because your body is actually slowing its own metabolism. You say, well, why would my body purposely slow its own metabolism? Well, it would do that to keep you alive during survival-based situations. Bodies are not messing up. I hate when people say, oh, well, the body's really messed up. It's doing this, this, and this. No, the body's messing up because of, like I just talked about in the beginning, how my practice works. You have too much of something or you have too little of something. We can test for that. We can correct that. We can, we can do that. So the thyroid plus adrenal plus hormone tests looks at your progesterone and estrogen levels because a lot of times it's not thyroid. And that's why when we test thyroid, thyroid looks good. And people are like, well, what is it then? Well, it could be higher levels of estrogen. That's a possibility. Okay, low levels of testosterone. Maybe that's why. Maybe you're not burning body fat. Maybe you're not putting in a muscle because of that. Same with DHEA. Or what about your cortisol? Maybe you just have really low cortisol in the morning. Like it takes you a long time to get going. That's that brain fog, the sluggishness in the morning, tough to get going. Or maybe you can't fall asleep at night. Maybe you can't turn it off at night. Your cortisol is too high at night. It will show that. And The thyroid adrenal hormone also shows your thyroid. Now, it does not show your selenium and all the toxicities like bromines and arsenic and cadmium, but it will show your T4, T3, and TSH, and it will show your TPO. So it will actually show antibodies for autoimmune-based issues. Love that it tests that. What else, though? It looks at vitamin D, another reason why metabolism might be low. And it looks at insulin, okay? And it looks at hemoglobin A1C. How's your blood sugar doing? 
Meaning like if you have real weight loss based issues, not necessarily Hashimoto's, but because again, Hashimoto's run the complete thyroid. All other sluggishness, weight loss issues run this thyroid plus adrenal plus hormone test. That is the test for you. It's going to show you from every different parameter, hey, why can't I lose weight? Why is my metabolism so sluggish? Why do I have to do so much work just to maintain a body weight? Why is it when I look at a starch that I just gain weight? That's the test for you. That's the one that's going to show. So, And then if you wanted to run the heavy metals on top of that, well, then you would run a hair tissue mineral analysis. So you'd simply do a thyroid plus adrenal plus hormone test plus the hair tissue mineral analysis if you want to look at your um, selenium, your zinc, and also wanted to look at, let's say, like um, mercury and aluminum, those types of things. So great combo right there if you wanted to. Okay. Now let's get into the plan. So those are the two labs that you could run. I understand not everyone's going to run them. If really, if it's within your budget, they're so great. I mean, I love the data. I really do. And that's because, well, for a few reasons, there's no more guessing, right? You know exactly what's wrong with you. Then you know exactly how to fix it. Meaning like, okay, let's just say you have too much mercury, you have too much aluminum. Well, we're going to do a heavy metal detox. Like that's it. So, I mean, let's get right into it now because that's that, that actually is the next step. So what I'm going to do is give you a 12-week to 16-week plan, all right? really believe that you're going to see the same turnaround that that people get in my practice by following this plan, all right? So now, yes, it can be customized if you run the lab test. What's the difference? Well, if you run the lab test, I read over your results personally. Then you get a 30-minute, or if you run two labs, then you're going to get a 60-minute call with one of my health coaches, all right? My top health coaches. And they're going to take you through the plan. You're going to get exactly the plan, personalized, customized for you. It's called a personalized wellness plan. It's meant exactly for you. But let's say you don't do that. You want to just get right into a plan that I've seen work you know, hundreds of times in clinical practice. All right, let's do that. We're unable to run the labs. Here's what we do first. We do the candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol. Okay, why the CBO protocol? Okay, it's because so many people who have the autoimmune-based issues, as well as the thyroid activity-based issues, meaning that sluggish thyroid, have issues with candida overgrowth, bacterial overgrowth, or leaky gut. So if we're not going to test for that, meaning like we could test for that with an organic acids test, or we could do the CBO, you know, we could do the... um thyroid plus adrenal plus hormone test to look at TPO antibodies as well, right? Okay. So if you know you have Hashimoto's, then you're going to run the CBO protocol anyways. And if you have a sluggish thyroid in general, you're going to want to do the heavy metal detox. So basically what I'm saying is, if you're not able to lab test, I'm just going to give you what you should do. Like that's basically it. All right. So you're going to run the candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol whilst, and that's 12 weeks while simultaneously doing the heavy metal detox. All right. It's super simple to do. It really is. Honestly, it's, nutritional supplements twice a day. That's it. Along with the, then we give you a very specific nutrition plan so that we're not feeding the yeast and bacterial overgrowth. This has been used now for almost going on seven years in my practice. We've just fine tuned it, tweaked it. I mean, it is literally down to a science beyond that. I've done all the research on it. I know exactly all the foods. You don't have to eliminate all your carbs. You don't have to do that. It's not necessary. That's old school mentality. So why the heavy metal detox? It's just because so many people with thyroid-based issues do have the buildup in those heavy metals. And so until you eliminate them, they're going to be an aggravant to your immune system. And that immune system in your genetic code is attacking your thyroid. So we have to stop that, of course. So we're going to do that. So we're going to run the CBO protocol simultaneously with the heavy metal detox. Super simple. We're going to link them up today. Go to stephencabral.com forward slash 719. Everything will be in the show notes today. All right. So, and then besides that, Besides that, we're going to do two more things. One is you're going to do the daily nutritional support each morning for your shake. Why are we going to do that? You need a full multivitamin. That's the bottom line. You need the chromium. You need everything else that comes in that daily nutritional support. It's a full multivitamin. It's all your minerals needed for your thyroid. We're going to take the guesswork out. It's going to help you with a little daily detox every day. 15 grams of vegan protein right in there, pea and rice based. So, I mean, that, that's it. Super simple. And then you're going to take the daily thyroid support. That just makes sense, right? Your thyroid's a little low. We need to use the daily thyroid support. Even if just dealing with a little bit of metabolic issues, daily thyroid support is such an amazing product. I mean, just all natural gives you everything your body needs. Okay, even has a little ashwagandha in there to help with any stress-based issues. Such a great product. That one took me a long time to get. That one really did. For when I'm formulating products for equilibrium nutrition, I'm not going to come out with a product until I get exactly what I want. And that, that was it. So really happy with how that product came out. So that's essentially it. We're going to do that for 12 weeks. The heavy metal only lasts for 42 days. That is based on science. I created that after looking through the research. What did the research say? It says after 42 days, anywhere between 90 and 93% of all heavy metals, iron, lead, mercury, those types of things were eliminated from the body by using these specific products used in the heavy metal detox. I mean, literally, this is based on scientific research. There's no guesswork here. Okay. 
So we're going to do that for the 12 weeks. Now, optional. What are optional? Because people are always asking optional. Well, either at the six-week mark or the 12-week mark during the Candida and Bacterial Overgrowth Protocol, you're welcome to do the intestinal cleanse. The intestinal cleanse is a great way to just pull, literally pull off old dead bacteria, pull out parasites, pull out yeast, any of those things off the intestinal wall. And it does that through activated charcoal and bentonite clay. So it's a great intestinal cleanse-based protocol. That's only for five to seven days. That's it. And either at the six-week mark or 12-week mark, completely optional, not needed. What do you do after the 12 weeks is over? Well, you're going to do anywhere between 30 days to 90 days, completely up to you, of the gut rebuilding protocol, which is the healing and sealing protocol. What is that? Well, it's literally rebuilding the gut with a full probiotic strain through the daily probiotic support and the healthy gut support powder, which is your glutamine, zinc, aloe vera, all the stuff that's scientifically proven to rebuild that those villi, right? The villi are what's going to help you better now extract nutrition from all of your food. It's going to help break down food better. It's going to rebalance that gut bacteria. It's going to also seal up the gaps in that lamina propria, which is going to help you now not spill proteins into your bloodstream. What happens then? Well, you have less food sensitivities and then you have less reactivity in the immune system. The immune system starts to calm down after a period of weeks and months. All of a sudden, you're back to normal. You're balanced. How do we do that? Is it a miracle? No. Everything I told you is exactly step-by-step, science-based, based on the research. So what do we do? Well, here's the thing. little recap. And again, you can obviously rewind this episode, replay it, and, and try to extract what I said, the data from it. And if you're a health practitioner, I recommend doing that. And if you're a health practitioner, you know that you can use all these supplements or lab tests in your practice every day of the week. And again, what you're seeing right now in the Cabral concept is exactly what I do. It's not a little like I do in my practice. It's exactly what I do. And so what we do is we lab test with either the complete thyroid testing package. All right, that's what we do if someone has Hashimoto's. We know that and we're looking at that, all right? Or if someone wants to look at their um, heavy metals, okay? But for everyone else, we're doing the thyroid plus adrenal plus hormone package. And if you want, you can add on the hair tissue mineral analysis for those toxic metals. And if you want, you can also run the uh, organic acids test to see if you have leaky gut, candida overgrowth, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, plus all sorts of other great biomarkers. If you're not going to run one of those lab tests, that's okay. You're going to then do a 16-week plan. It's not a big deal. Honestly, it's like, oh, it's three to four months. Like, No, it's you're just doing your nutritional supplements in the AM and PM. Very easy to do, okay? So you're going to run the heavy metal detox protocol. Get those metals out of your body that are inflaming your immune system and thyroid. You're going to do the candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol. You're going to do the daily nutritional support shake in the morning, and you are going to use your daily thyroid support. That's it. After it's all over, you want to heal and seal the gut. You do that with a gut rebuilding protocol. After that, you're really weaning off all of those supplements. You are. You're already done with the CBO. You're already done with the heavy metal detox after that six weeks. You are probably just doing the shake in the morning for breakfast. And then after you're feeling good, your metabolism's good, you're doing great. You might even wean off the daily thyroid support. I mean, you really could. You could just be left with the daily nutritional support, which is your all-in-one, all your multi, all your mineral, all of your daily detox and your vegan protein. I mean, like you have to do something, right? You need a little bit of something, but that's it. And again, that is how we help people every single day in my practice. So if you want, you can run a lab test and I'll link them up today, steamcabal.com forward slash 719. That's when I read over your personal lab, okay? You order online. I read over your results when they come in. And then you speak with one of my health coaches where you get a personalized plan for you. If you don't want to do the personalized approach, you can do the plan that's done for you. Meaning like we've done this hundreds of times, okay? Probably thousands of times. I don't know because I don't count anymore. What we're looking to do then is just look at all the different things that could be affecting your thyroid and then help you with that. And all of them are healthy. Let's just say like, oh, I don't know if, what if I don't have a lot of mercury? What if I don't have a lot of aluminum? Doing the heavy metal detox is not going to hurt you. Why wouldn't it hurt you? Because it's all natural food-based. Vitamin C, crack cell chlorella, cilantro, uh, biofilm disruptors, all healthy. Anyone in the world can do it and probably should do it. Everyone in the world probably should do a heavy metal detox, okay? And then what about the CBO protocol? Same thing, same exact thing. Daily nutritional support, everyone needs that. And then what about the daily thyroid support? Well, is using selenium iodine, using ashwagandha, are those things gonna be harmful? No, no. Should you do it if you don't have a sluggish thyroid? No. I mean, but you listen to this show because you want to boost your metabolism, right? You want to feel less sluggish, okay? You want to get that thyroid operating how it should. That's why you're using that product. So hopefully this makes sense. 
please, as always, let me know, let my team know how we can help. If this show is helpful, again, just go to your Instagram account, go to at Stephen Cabral. Let me know on the show notes page for today at, at uh, on Instagram if this show is helpful. Also, join cabralsupportgroup.com if you have immediate questions. Just go there, ask your question. We're happy to help. That This is really what it's all about. It really is. Let us know how we can help. That's the truth. I really do want to help. So thank you so much. And, and the biggest help you can give me is simply spreading this message. Please do feel free to share this show with anyone you believe could help. Before you go, I wanted to share a personal story with you. The real reason I began to get well finally is because I figured out what was wrong with me. And that might seem pretty obvious, but I went from doctor to doctor for over two years before discovering at-home functional medicine lab testing. These are the labs that enabled me to finally figure out what was wrong with my hormones, blood sugar, electrolytes, and gut health. And once I knew what was wrong, I could then follow a proven plan in order to rebalance my body from the inside out. This is why I believe so strongly in functional medicine lab testing and why I've made it my mission to share these labs with the world. Now at equa.life, you can order an at-home lab test or lab bundle for you and your family and be able to complete it within the week. Plus, the equal life difference is that you're not left to try to read and figure out these labs on your own. We explain what your lab numbers mean, what they mean in the much bigger picture, and then how to go about rebalancing your body in order to heal. To see our full selection of lab tests or to set up a free lab selection call to find out what labs may be best for you, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. And do remember, we ship these all over the world. To find out more and to set up your free lab selection call, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. That's E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E forward slash labs. 